In 2017, at the Rocket Mass Heater Innovators event here at Wheaton Labs, Kirk Mobert, a.k.a. Donkey, designed and built the first prototype of the Cyclone batch-style rocket mass heater. Recently, it began to burn poorly, and we noticed that some of the heat riser was breaking off and falling into the burn chamber. All right, just relax and breathe. Be over before we know it. Slice of dice. Meep. Yeah, that's Meep. like a class two. Meep. I don't think you're gonna feel any of this. I think we're ready to make our incision. Scalpel. We're done removing bricks now and it hasn't collapsed, so the side, the opening up through the side has been a success thus far. There's a decent amount of soot in here before we vacuumed it out, but I imagine that was just an indication of how poorly it was burning once it started malfunctioning. Um, there's no creosote buildup, which would suggest uh, long-term malfunctioning or poor performance. We've got to cut the riser into two pieces because it's just a little bit taller than our hole. Scalpel. Suction. Here is an example of what can happen if steel is exposed to the extremely high temperatures that occur in the burn chamber and heat riser of a rocket mass heater. This piece was used as the exterior form to mold the perlite and clay slip heat riser. While the interior form was removed, this was left in place and the edges of the door between the burn chamber and heat riser warped and dissolved, leaving cracks to the stratification chamber. It's possible that the warping of the steel destabilized the hardened perlite clay slip material causing it to begin collapsing, or that the collapsing of the clay slip material exposed the steel to higher temperatures and caused it to deteriorate. Either way, this hole is significantly larger than it was at installation. So now we're going to clean this up and build a new heat riser out of fire brick in its place. If you like this sort of thing, Come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.